What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with my post-fight review for the uh, for the Julian J. Rock Williams versus Carlos Adamas fight. Um, listen, bro, I gotta say, first and foremost, that was a terrible stoppage, bro. And, and, and I'm, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to have to do this because it kind of takes away from the performances of both fighters. Uh, it takes away from the uh, from the spotlight. But bro, this is it, this is starting to just piss me off with, with boxing, bro. And I get it that we're trying to protect these fighters, but bro, at what point are these fighters gonna give, be given a chance to show their greatness, bro? These this is moments like what J Rock went through is what defines great fighters. Imagine if you had a, a trainer like that in the, uh, I'm not a trainer, but a referee like that against um uh, 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 against uh, uh, Juan Luis Castillo versus Diego Corrales. Imagine imagine if you had had a, a trainer like that in, against that fight. We wouldn't have got to see how great Diego Corrales was, bro. Imagine, like, bro, stuff like this really irritates me because, it's again, I'm all for the safety of the fighter, but I'm also, let, let the fighter show his greatness, bro. And J-Rock was, bro, J, like, how do you stop the fight? J-Rock turns him, and you see he's clearly throwing a punch, bro. So it's not like J-Rock was just out of it, bro. J-Rock was hurt. I'm not going to sit here and lie about that. J-Rock was hurt. But it's like, bro, you see, the man turns him and throws. So he's, he's clear of his wits. His defense was still sharp, bro. Like, J-Rock was uh, making a miss and being slick while he was hurt. So he obviously had his whereabouts, bro. When are, the, when are these judges going to allow these fighters to be great, bro? And that's what, that's what irritates me, man. Like, bro, the moment, like, it's just... Sports in general is uh, even in the NBA, uh, in the uh, in, in foot in the NFL, or I don't really watch the NFL, but I do watch uh, college football. It's just like, bro, every generation it gets softer and softer, bro. When are they gonna let these guys be great? And it's like, bro, like, okay, J, J Rock. All right, for one, I did have Carlos Adamas winning, no doubt about it. Uh, but J Rock was in the fight. Um, and, and everybody knows Carlos kind of, he kind of slows down in the later half of the fight, all right? Carlos did good with throwing combinations. I was, uh, it, it kind of irritated me because it, it would be like once Carlos got his motor started, J-Rock would seriously just shell up um, instead of trying to punch in between. But uh, like in the fourth round, the fourth round, J-Rock was hurt even worse than the tenth round. Now, I, or the last round, I think it was the ninth point ten round. Now I do understand though, in in the later rounds when you when fatigue starts to set in more, it's more dangerous to uh, take hits uh, in, in the later rounds. But bro, all I'm saying is I feel like J Rock was hurt more in the fourth round than he was in the in the in the, in the final round, bro. All right, listen, <sighs> Carlos Carlos was pressing the action. Um, very nice, but J-Rock is so smart, bro. J-Rock actually reminds me of a watered-down Andre Ward at times, bro. Like, he's not it's, he's not the fastest. He's not the strong, the, 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 the hardest hitter. But his, his intelligence and IQ and slickness gets him, you know, through a lot. And, um... J-Rock was, um... You know, J-Rock was starting to... Was coming back... <coughs> Dre Rock, I love how he was slipping, uh, slip the punches, come, come with his hook or a uh, lead right hand, then went, then with the hook. Like J Rock was not, he did not look like a shot fighter. Um, he didn't look like a shot fighter at all, bro. But the thing is, man, Carlos Adamas, you know, he, he, um, Carlos Adamas, you, you know, I, I, I like, I like Carlos, but I don't think he's ready for Jamal Charlo, bro. I don't see him being ready for Jamal Charlo, bro. Um, he did set his punches up pretty decent, um, but he's there to be hit. Carlos is, he's a come forward, and I, and I like, I can appreciate that, but, uh, because, you know, he's hungry, he wants the title, and, and rightfully so, he deserves it. Uh, I would be pissed if I was Carlos, you know, having to wait so long and, and not knowing what's going on with Jamal, but, uh, Carlos, he, he he's a come forward guy, um, he was throwing good, good combinations, I loved how he was going to the body. He was really going. He was going to the body very well, and I um and I I thought that was very in, intelligent of him. But you know, then J Rock would you know J Rock would get, let let Carlos get his momentum, and but then J right right when you it's not even not even right when you thought J Rock was gone, but it's like J Rock just shows more and more how he has so much heart, bro. J Rock like Carlos J you know J Rock would be hurt, but then you know J Rock would regain himself. Regain himself, and then come with his combinations, bro. He'll come with the straight, straight, right, boom. Then come with the hook, boom. Then uh, start there. And Carlos, 
uh, showed me that he doesn't really know how to punch in between uh, or or uh, pick in between in between shots um, the way that Jamal Charlo did. If you guys remember, that's how Jamal Charlo was able to knock out Julian J. Rock Williams, bro, because he, you know, and, and it was a beautiful. I, I still to this day have not seen a fighter do that where he caught he caught with the right hand, right? J. Rock threw that straight leader that lead right. And uh, Jamal caught with his backhand. Th- he caught with his right hand, then sl- then rolled and threw the uppercut right after he caught. With the same hand that he caught with him, rolled and threw the uppercut, boom, and knocked J. Rock down. That was that that was just that was beautiful, bro. Um, and that's how you beat like a, that's how you re- if you really want to stop a, 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 a J. Rock, bro. That's how you do it by punching in between his uh, shots or whatnot. But um, but. Carlos, you know, Carlos, once J-Rock was throwing the combinations, Carlos pretty much shelled up the same way kind of J-Rock did or whatnot. Uh, but regardless, bro, you know, J-Rock, he allowed he allowed Carlos to uh, push him back. It was moments where J-Rock, J-Rock would, would, would slip and then, you know, pivot off. And it, it looked beautiful, bro. Like, J-Rock does not look like a shot fighter at all. He doesn't look shot. Um, I, I think that I personally, I would like for him to move back down to 154. Cause I even I never thought that J Rock was a big 154 pounder. So when I found out this fight that he was fighting Carlos Adamas and it was gonna be you know obviously at 160 where Carlos has the enter on WBC, I, I kind of felt like that was weird because it's like I don't really think that um J Rock was a, a full 154 pound fighter or well, a big not a big one at least. So I knew J Rock was gonna have issues and I picked Carlos Adamas. I actually picked Carlos Adamas by 10th round stoppage. Um. But this stoppage, I, I don't I don't feel like I can take credit for this, man. Cause bro, this stoppage was BS, bro. Like J, uh, J- Rock, Carlos, he Carlos hurt hurt J Rock. No, no doubt. Like, again, like I said, he he was hurt. But J Rock was still how you know how how you can tell if a fighter's where wits are still there. For one, this man Carlos, Carlos was throwing combinations. J Rock was slipping. I mean being slick, slipping, moving, slip. So his whereabouts was still there. He knew what was going on, right? Not only that, bro, Carlos landed two good shots, but J-Rock did slip, turn him while he was on the ropes. Because when you're on the ropes, what, what you want to do is once you slip out of a punch, if, 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 you, if you find yourself on the ropes or in the corner, and in J-Rock's situation, he was in the ropes and by the corner, uh, Carlos threw a punch, he slipped, and then he turned him. So that shows you his whereabouts are still there. He turned him, and then he threw the punch, and the referee stopped the fight as uh, J-Rock was throwing a punch. And it was just like, bro, like, what the hell is this, bro? Like, and I'm, I'm just sitting there like, bro, it just, I can't stress it enough, bro. Like, dog, let these fighters show their greatness. I could see if J-Rock was just wild, dead, wobbled and wasn't like, and, 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 and when, when, whenever Carlos would throw a punch, uh, it would go through, like, J-Rock wasn't even able to defend himself and his head just going back. I could see then you stopped the fight cool. But this was not a situation, bro. This was a situation where Car- um, J-Rock was able to regain himself bro and obviously his whereabouts was still there i just man i am just getting tired of stuff like this bro like bro the moment a fighter shows any signs of him being hurt like bro this is boxing let them show their greatness bro like i could see and for guys that say well you know all these fighters that are died bro listen it's one thing if this man was taking clean punches after clean punches after like just what like you know what i'm saying um what like I, I'm, I can't think of an example right off the top of my my head. Uh, this is just I guess because I was just talking about Jamal going to Jamel against like Jamel against Tony Harrison in in, in the round before Tony Harrison got stopped when Jamel was landing them uppercuts and stuff. Well, when a fighter's head is going back every time he's getting hit and he can't defend himself, then okay, cool, stop the fight, bro. But when you have a fighter that's that's getting hit by grazing punches or he still his his defense is aware. He's still throwing punches, bro. Like, come on, man. All right. <sighs> so I don't. And, and the sad part about it, boxing is like, bro. When a fighter like they, you gonna see some oh, J Rock needs to retire, bro. They don't. They just say that because the loss, but they don't look at his actual performance. J Rock don't need to retire. J Rock still has his, bro. J Rock can go down to 154 and still put on a competitive fight. Maybe not against like the likes of a. Well, maybe I. You know what? I wouldn't mind seeing J Rock versus Tim Zhu. I wouldn't mind seeing J Rock versus Tim Zhu, but you know, like, I, I still would like. I would like to see a J Rock versus Erickson Lubin. His fight was stopped uh, ridiculously. By the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I. But you know, anyways, it is what it is, man. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What did you think about the fight?
But what do I know? 